Hey guys, how's it going? Keith just here making more videos again and today I got another cool video for you. Uh, I got my car back here. If you read the title in the description below, you know what it is all about. So, without further ado, let's get to it. <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright guys, so basically what we got here is my rim and we're going to show you how to clean it. Uh, I'm going to show you in a second how dirty this thing is. I'm actually going to touch it and stuff. But, we're going to be cleaning on a budget. Everything in this bucket right here cost me a dollar. Uh, everything. This thing, which is a wheel and tire cleaner, was a dollar. This was a dollar, which is a tire shine. That's for later. Uh, this was also a dollar. You know, I'm just going to use this thing to get in the crevices and stuff and this thing for my tire because it has a lot of gunk on it it was a dollar and also the bucket itself was a dollar and this was a dollar so balling in the budget guys you know that's what I'm saying so um, yeah so let's get to it let's see what's how dirty this is so I'm zoomed in right now and as you can see it is really dirty look at my look actually if I put my finger right here and I do this look at that look at that dirtiest oh my god I got my finger all dirty now Everything is dirty. Look, see, so dirty. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm trying to take it off. Uh, but yeah, it's super dirty. And as you can see, I took some off. It's super dirty. My rims are super dirty, and also like all this, I'm gonna try to take it off using ball on a budget dollar style. Everything is a dollar in there. And uh, obviously, I'm gonna use also this towel right here. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, I'm gonna also make this really shiny and nice and clean. And all my rims are dirty, but I'm just gonna do the, my one of them so so first thing first I'm gonna use the wheel and tire cleaner to uh, dissolve brake uh, dust and stuff like that basically I'm gonna leave it on for about a minute or so uh, you know and, and I'm gonna be really liberal with this because uh, you know this thing was a dollar this whole bottle was a dollar so I'm gonna be really liberal with it and let's just get to it Alright, so now I'm going to let this sit for some time. I'm going to get some water in my bucket and get to work. So now, time to get to work. I'm going to use this brush to get to work with this. And as you can see, it's already taking off a lot of the stuff. And you can see it's getting really dirty too. Look at all that dirt. So as you can see how much it actually removed and then there's a dirty part right there. And here's the clean part now. And it does work. So you need to put some elbow grease in it and get it done. As you can see, the tire is already much cleaner than before. I'm just gonna wipe it down. <coughs> now I'm going to use the uh, the shiner, the shining thing, to make it even shinier. Now I didn't get into all the crevices and stuff because it was gonna take a long time. What you could do also is just take out the whole rim and do it that way. But in my case, I just left it on and I just wanted to show you guys that you can do this stuff with, you know, some fairly cheap stuff. Um, but, let me use the tire shine now and I'm gonna just spray it on here. So I put the tire shine on there right now. Just gonna let it sit there for about a couple of minutes or so and then I'm gonna wipe it all off. So after that's done, 
just take your sponge and just wipe it all around. Okay, and make sure that you get, since I have performance tires, make sure you get like under this, you know, in this little crease right here that performance tires have this lip. Make sure you get that. And just kind of go all the way around. I did this already, so make sure you go all the way around with that with your sponge. And then what you can do also, just to make it even cleaner, take your towel, just kind of go in there and wipe all your spokes. Just give it that fresh look, okay? As you can see, it looks already without even doing anything else. I'm already done pretty much. And it looks amazing. Let's go all around, around it, wipe it, wipe it completely dry, and it just it's just nice, not too shiny, look doesn't look too plasticky, but it has a good shine to it. And all done with you know dollar store products. Just giving you guys a close-up view. Look how shiny that tire is. And it's not even fully clean. Like I, I didn't even like completely clean it all, but very shiny, very nice and dark. And, and if I go to the other side and I show you the like you know tire that's dirty, look how dirty. Look how dirty it is. Look at that. That's how dirty it used to be. Look how dirty the inside is. So I'm gonna get this done too. You know, make my tire nice and clean. Just like my the tire that I did right here. And it's nice and shiny, nice and clean. Alright. Good stuff. Alright guys, hope you liked the video. I uh, hope there was not too much wind noise with, you know, because there was a really windy day. But hope you guys liked the video on how do you can do it with really cheap products and, you know, just get some good results if, you're, if you are trying to do it with really cheap products. But uh, you can also use the expensive stuff. It's the same thing, same idea. Just use, you know, don't buy the expensive brushes if you don't want to. And I'm um, just giving you an alternative way to do this. Uh, cleaning your tire, cleaning your rims, okay? So other than that, guys, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and also make sure you, you know, get into the, um, the 500 subscriber giveaway. I have a link below. It's about to end, but, and it's a pretty cool item. It's an iPod Touch I'm giving away, so, yeah. But other than that, guys, King's just here saying thanks for watching, and... Peace.